Well, good morning. I'm excited about today and this week. We've got a lot going on in here in the kitchen. We got some stuff to do outside as well this week. We have sheetrock guys coming tomorrow. So we've got a lot of stuff to do here in the kitchen in the little den area to get ready for them. They're coming first thing in the morning to start hanging and finishing the sheetrock here. You know, I try to do as much as I can by myself. So I did all the sheetrock in the rest of the house. Got it all patched up and finished and everything. And also did some sheetrock in our other house that we lived in. So I can do sheetrock. I just don't like doing it. And it would take me probably a month or two to get the sheetrock in this big room finished. They'll be done in like three or four days. So sometimes it's a little bit better to have somebody else do something for you instead of trying to tackle everything all by yourself. So it may cost a little bit more up front, but if you factor in all my time that it would take me to do this, by the end, I would have more labor in it than what it's gonna cost me to have a crew come in and install it in just a couple of days. So with that being said, we've got a lot to do today to get ready for the sheetrock guys in the morning. So the first thing we gotta do this morning I put a water box in the wall cavity here for the ice maker on the refrigerator. I've just got a piece of pipe stubbed down through the floor. We've got to go underneath the floor, tie this water line into the existing water line for the rest of the house, pressurize this system, make sure it doesn't leak before it gets covered up in the morning. All right, I know it's kind of hard to see. I apologize about that, but I'm not working with, but about 24 inches of clearance here, so if that. We're going to get this tied in real quick. So when we bought the place, um, the plumbing had already been redone a long time ago. And the original house had copper in it. And somebody had come in here and cut all the copper out and put CPVC back. And a lot of it was uh, kind of dry rotted and old and stuff. So I'd come back in and replumb the whole house with pex plumbing and i got my two main trunk lines right here my hot my cold these two trunk lines here are headed to the back of the house to the mud room the little mud room addition that we built and then this line right here is headed over to the kitchen we got to get this cold water half inch tied into this three quarter inch cold water trunk line and i hope i brought all everything i need Cause it's a long climb back in here. Okay, so we've got to get a coupling put on. I didn't bring what I need. You've got to be kidding me. I didn't bring the half inch pex crimps. I brought the crimper, but not the crimp rings. I got plenty of three quarter, but I didn't bring any of the half inch. They're in a box. I've got to climb all the way back out just to get those and climb all the way back in here. All right, so I'm back. I had to go get some half inch crimps. And I'll tell you what, I was not built to be a cave explorer. The tight spaces don't really bother me, but climbing around on your belly gets old real quick. And there's a lot of tight spaces in here. I gotta squeeze under all this duct work and stuff. And, Lay my head down sideways and scoot through an inch at a time. Nah. I mean, I'm sure some people love to do it, but not me. And that's why it takes me so long to get in and out. I gotta crawl up under all this duct work. And that's my foot for reference. So about eight inches or so. Get this hooked up spliced in that way we can test that connection on that water box that's behind the wall before these guys put up sheet rock Ooh. yeah there's a lot of air in there Now I've never had a PEX fitting to leak before, ever. And I've, this is the second house that I've remodeled with PEX. But always double check, just 
error on the safe side. Since this is going to be behind the sheetrock, once they push the sheetrock up tomorrow, we'll never be able to look at this again until it's too late. So, always do this before you cover it up. Now that we got the water tested and it's not leaking here, we're all good with that. So, that can get covered up with no problem. So, we've got some lights here in the ceiling that we've got to take down. Those holes are going to get covered up. So we've got these old built-in bookshelves beside the fireplace, one on each side. We've got to take them out. And yes, I am going to take them out, but we're going to be building them back. So the main reason I want to take these out, it's going to be kind of difficult for them to butt sheetrock up here and cope this out and make it look nice and pretty. Plus these are stained and they're going to be a bear to try to sand everything, repaint everything. So we're just going to be ripping these out and we're gonna build them back just a little bit different. Pretty much the same style except for the doors. We're gonna get rid of these old shaker doors. Well, there's one down, one to go on the other side. Stabbed myself with one of those little nails. Got a pretty big pile of trash right here to pick up, but luckily we don't have to go far. Pull the truck up here to the sliding glass doors and we'll just chunk it all on the back of the truck. We still gotta get this one pulled out over here they're pretty challenging just because of like how they're built in there and you can't get to either side. God, that hurts. But it's gonna look a lot better when we get done. New sheetrock in there, paint behind the sheetrock, not that old paneling. And plus in this old house, they got this old metal boxes here with the grounds tied back behind the box. I've been taking all them out so that I can run, run new plastic boxes with new Romex in them. But we gotta get onto this one next. And after that one, we'll get the truck pulled around here, get all this loaded up on the truck, haul it off, clean the rest of this junk up, and then we'll be ready for sheetrock in the morning. Well, it's the next day here, and let me start off by apologizing. I didn't get to film any of them. Um, put the sheetrock up. I did take some pictures, but they didn't really want to be on camera, so I respect that. We've got our plastic up here. It's looking like a hazmat facility in the house, but we're trying our best to keep the dust out of the house where we're living while we're working on the kitchen. But let me take you around and show you all that they got done. So yesterday, two guys come in and they hung all this sheetrock. They taped it. They put paper tape on in the first coat of mud. And then today, I wasn't here all day. I had to make an unexpected trip down to Georgia. Got back this afternoon and they were here and they put the first coat of mud on top of the tape. They'll be back tomorrow to sand this. And that's the big reason why we've got all this plastic up on the doors. We're trying to keep all this dust contained to this one room. We've got the heat on in here so it'll help dry this mud faster. That way we can get this process finished quicker. Otherwise it'd take a day or so to dry in between each coat, but they'll be back in the morning. Um, I have to work in the morning, so I won't be here to see any of that, but they will sand this, put the second coat of mud on, and then the following day they'll sand again, put the finished coat on, the skim coat. And as long as there's no touch up issues, this project will be done. Uh, we'll have all the sheetrock put up, new sheetrock on the ceiling, we'll have to put in some uh, light fixtures here. We're going to put in some LED can lights and then may put a ceiling fan or something up in here since we will be using the wood stove next winter trying to move some of this air right here. We've got our kitchen measured out for the cabinets. We just got to place the order for those, get those in here and then hopefully by about another month we'll be able to use this area, this little extra family room and then have us a finished kitchen. All right, so they just finished up with the sheetrock yesterday. They got it all sanded, got all the coats put on. Looks really good. All the corners and everything looks good. We still got our doors covered up with all the plastic and we've got to get all this sheetrock dust off the walls before we can prime, which is pretty clean. They've done a, they done a pretty good job of of cleaning it but they sum up in the corners especially up in the top corners there's a little bit of sheetrock dust left up in there so 
what I've done is I've turned the fan on for the heat. The heat's not on, but just the fan's running. And I've closed all the vents in the rest of the house so that these are blowing really hard. There's a lot of air coming out of these. We've got our doorways covered up and I've just cracked this window here. And then I've got a ventilation fan stuck in it. And what I'm trying to do is kind of like pressurize this room so that all the dust will get sucked out of that window. And I'm gonna go around with a little handheld leaf blower, blow off as much as I can, and then hopefully all that dust will go out the window instead of in the rest of the house. And hopefully today, I don't know if I'll get it all done today, but I would like to prime everything, get paint put on the ceiling, and get my lights installed in here so that I can see better. Let's get to work. So that didn't take you just two minutes to blow all this sheetrock out. I know it gets dusty, but it's a lot quicker than wiping the walls down with a tank cloth or something. And they're virtually clean. They're definitely clean enough put primer on. We'll leave the air conditioner fans running. I may try to set this up on a ladder, get this more even in the door. It may get just a little bit of a draft coming back in the top of the door. You can already tell it's getting a lot cleaner in here. It's not near as dusty. We'll let this run for 10 minutes or so and it'll pull 90% of all this dust out. And then we got a pretty much clean room.